Hi guys, welcome back to another Lean Planet episode. Today, <coughs> we're going to rank all 16 Marvel Cinematic Universe movies that I've seen. And this will be split into parts. There will be two parts to this. We're going from 16 to 6. Speaking of number 16, number 16 is The Incredible Hulk. What a incredible mess. Um... Uh, the abomination is forgettable. The whole movie is forgettable. Does anybody remember this was even in the MCU? Anyone remember? Because I do. But I don't really like it. I can't even sit through it. It's too bad. So it's garbage. And that's why it's at number 16. Number 15. This one might change around on the list once I rewatch it. It's Iron Man 3. I don't like this movie. Action scenes come out of nowhere. Like, really don't come out of nowhere. Like, you got the Mandarin helicopter sequence. That kind of comes out of nowhere. So is the airplane sequence. When would drones get in there? And just destroy the plane? That, that is very unexpected. So, it, it just has action scenes come out of nowhere. And that's not really fun. And it's really boring after a while. Like, 15% of the movie is just boring. So that's all I got to say about Iron Man 3. Number 14 is Iron Man 2. Many people would say this is the worst Iron Man movie. I think Iron Man 3 is. But this movie is still a mess. They bring too much plot lines into the mix. They have the Avengers. The government wanting Iron Man suits. And way much other ones. They just, That just takes for like five Iron Man movies. With that much plot lines. Like ten. Like can't you just get rid of some of them? And Whiplash is horrible. But the only pluses are that Justin Hammer is a great villain, and War Machine was pretty cool to see. Coming in at number 13 is Avengers Age of Ultron. Everybody knows this is the worst Avengers movie. <clears throat> it's just, like, the middle of the road for movies. Um... It starts off pretty iconic, and then after they create Ultron, it turns into a mess. And I like when they have a comic book tone. That's the, like with Iron Man 2, but they didn't do it with this movie, and that's horrible. They have Hulk looking horrible. That's just what you do. When you do that kind of style, and they waste Quicksilver here. Why can't you just put... You know you're going to put the X-Men in, like, the future. Coming in at number 12 is Captain America, the first Avenger. I like the first half of the movie where it mixes the 40 vibe and 40s vibe into it. But then... Well, after he gets his powers, and then you have to montage through World War II, and then you go plan a World War II. It's, like, horrible. I mean, they should have done, like, like, um, Winter Soldier to be, like, the, the World War II movie. So, that is really bad, but Red Skull's a pretty good villain, I gotta say. Coming in at number 11 is Thor the Dark World. Many people have this at their bottom, but actually, enjoy the action. Um, of course, Malekith is a really bad villain. But Curse actually does the work, and he actually, I actually prefer him over Malekith, because he actually does something. And then the ether stuff is odd, and the whole beginning, like, 30 minutes is weird so that's all i gotta say about that movie coming in at number 10 is guardians
Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. This is not as good as the first, obviously. Um, there's the funny moments, but it doesn't really feel like a story. It feels like you've already gone to it, and then you need to end the movie in like the first 30 minutes when he finds Evo. But you need to have that twist. I think they should have had Ego be like the evil person then started finding out that it's his father, but that never happens. And it just flops. But the funny moments are still pretty good and the action. Coming in at number nine is Captain America the Winter Soldier. This is way better than the first Avenger. But that doesn't come to say that it's the best. It does have its flaws like the story, but the action is wonderful. And Alexander Pierce, I don't get the hype around him. I don't get it. Coming in at number eight is Thor Ragnarok. So this is the latest one I've seen. And I actually really enjoyed it. Is probably maybe the funniest Thor movie. And the best. I really liked it. And the final battle was just great. Music is great, so it's just here at number 8. Now at number 7, our second to last movie on this, or on this part 1 is Avengers Endgame. What a great send off to Iron Man. Time heist and the final battle was the best. But everything else is just... Wow. This is like Iron Man 3 level. But still, it was a great movie. Coming in at number 6, our final one for today is Spider-Man Far From Home. Not seeing the first movie. I actually really like it. And I think Mysterio is a pretty interesting villain. The action's great, but I don't know what's wrong with the movie. It's just not as good as the others. I just gotta say that. 